Evelyn infused some excitement into the relationship. She started flirting with more with her husband. She made him feel wanted and expressed how well he pleased her in bed. And okay, that's an excerpt from To Be a Better Spouse, a Six Tips. Your husband will be glad you know. Okay, can I see him now? <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. I have two beautiful women in the house today, Bolanle and Kane. Great to have you on the show. Yeah, well, it's great to have you on the show. Great okay, to be here. even before we even started, we're having a very interesting discourse. And I do. Should we start from there? Yes, we should. <laughs> okay, but then, yes, first of all, shall. why is why is Gem oh, Man? Okay, it's um, you you, you guys publishers of this uh, magazine. Yes, yes we are. Gem Woman and Gem Man. It's yes. one publication, by yes. the way. Yes, yes, it is. And uh, the Gem Man is just about thirty percent, maybe twenty percent of the whole. Per I mean, men, we have to fight. We don't like this man. This is liberation what for men. What are you fighting about? And Gem Woman be your own. own. And it's starting with Gem Woman. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's, it's gem women first. Okay, women first. Women first. Ladies yes. first. There's so much. There's so much to talk about when it comes to women. You you don't why do those you, topics. Do? So when you want to talk about men, yeah, yeah, you can just summarize it in a page own? in short. Okay. Talk so about I like? gem publications. <laughs> Not at all. Let's talk about gem publications. Okay. What do you do? Okay. Well, gem publications were the publishers of the Gem Woman and the Gem Man magazine. Mm -hmm. When you were asking, we started publishing the Gem Woman magazine in 2007. And then the Gemma now became an insert in 2009. And because we found out that we had a lot of men that were subscribing to the magazine. And then we had a lot of men calling and asking various questions that they felt we could actually trash out. I'm asking about how many more pages that Gemma has. We have a lot of issues, I guess. Mm -hmm. And women are more avid readers than men, permit me. But that, that has been proven in so many ways. But you can debate about that later on. <laughs> and so apart from the magazine that we publish, it's bi-monthly. It comes out once in two months. We also have various initiatives that we um, do. We have the Body, Soul, and Spirit. It's an annual women's program every 1st of October, and it's massive. Right now, we do that program both in Lagos and in Ibadan. The last edition of the program last year, we had over 2,000 women that attended. It's always a wonderful day out for women. We have the Two Become One event that's coming up next week, Saturday, yeah. and it's for couples. And that is an event that every couple must attend. It is a, it's an event that is unusual when you talk about couples dinners because we actually trash out everything at the program. We have something called the um, Love Lounge, which is awesome. We're going to have um, um, saxophonists and all that. They're going to serenade the couples. We have rekindling the vows. We actually renew our vows to one another. Okay. We have comedy. There's a three-course meal. There are lots of games. We have the kissing competition. Ah. I know you like that. <laughs> Let me regret the longest, the longest kiss. I'm sorry. Yes. Nice. Yes. You, you don't want nice. the show to end now. <laughs> is there a prize? No, no, no. Oh, there is oh, a there prize. Is. What, what, no prize. what are the rules? Like, you don't is. stop. You, you continue. You don't you just stop. Continue. And, you don't you know, stop. The manner at which it's done. Ah. You know, you must be Why done you smiling properly. Like this too much? What? I'm not smiling. I'm trying to find out. You know, I can... So okay, the, so let's talk, more. It. All right, let's talk more about Saturday. You have a plan for the couples. Yes. What is Saturday all about? Saturday is about love, intimacy, relationship, and just enjoying one another. You know, we live in a very fast-paced uh, life now. Everybody is out. I'm out of the house by 6 o'clock. I'm back by 11. When do I really see my husband? Weekends, there are commitments, there's family, there's wedding. And it just goes on and on and on. And most times, how many times do you communicate or, you know, just go back to how when you guys were dating. Mm. So to become one is that exceptional day. We call it your date night. Okay. An unforgettable evening to treasure with your spouse. Mm. Just come together, find somewhere to put the children, and have a good time. Good time. All right. That's what it's all about. All right, so um, let me say if I'm, I'm married to someone, young couple, and people, couples nowadays, they go for date nights a lot. I have a brother that is married, got married recently, and he's always going out with his wife. He always has one thing, on one How event or the other. It's just two years old, okay. so they go out a lot. <laughs> so how would you convince young couples to come for such a program? Because they're like, ah, if it's about advice and encouragement and all that, we get all that. If it's about date nights, we do that steady. So what's the unique selling You know point? that I go for date nights. Date nights are just sort of yarn. Mm. Everybody just gist and exchange, or which, which movie are you watching? What's up fashion? But this one is much more than a date night. You meet other people. You learn from other people's experiences. We're going to have a couple who haven't had children for X amount of 
years they coming to testify mm. we have another couple who started from zero and now you know god has really blessed them so on a date night we don't hear that we hear what like what shoes are you wearing mm. what's the next summer trip it's just fun mm. but let's get down to the basic and let's know the nitty gritties of marriage mm. that's what it's all about all right Earlier. do you want to people that are not um, married like you said it's a couple night yes. what if i'm not married Barbara. he has a fiance <laughs> about so who fiance you about to is there baby? What if she's a the side chick? Fiance. I would know side chicks for now. You, how would you know? How would you know? How would you know? How would you know? <laughs> that's why you call couples. You must be married. Okay, oh, you I must, you be, must married. be married. So yes. I have to be married to be there. Yes. Okay, good. Is there something for singles, by the way? Is there something for singles? Mm -hmm. We usually have a single conference, but for single ladies oh. every year also. Mm -hmm. It's one of the initiatives that we have. All right. Um, so I was about to ask a question. When it comes to faith-based programs, uh, everything... For me, it's watered down. You don't really get to talk about the main things. You just talk about it and you put a lot of Christ in it. Like, wow, so do it, deal with it, do with it. So how, how will you make it like real. raw, real? And I think that is one of the peculiarities of, the, of all our initiatives. We get real. We say it as it is. We talk about infidelity, talk about barrenness, talk about financial issues in marriage. We say it as it is. And if you've read the magazine, you see that a lot of the columnists, we share our life stories. I do that all the time in my column and all the other columnists do it because people need to know the truth. While we're having the decadence in society, and we're having this high rate of divorce, is that the young couples that are coming up have no one to tell them the challenges that they would face in marriage. A lot of people get married with this notion of my husband is just going to be wonderful every second of the day because we're in love. That is sure guarantee that the marriage will work and that is a lie mm. marriage is hard work mm. you need to invest in it you need to put a lot of effort in it it's something that needs to be worked out and as of when we come together we have people who've been married for various number of years who can share their experiences so the people that are younger can learn from other people's experiences and you don't fall into the same mistakes that they do the fact that it's faith-based is also a sure guarantee that you're going to get the right information i'm not going to tell you 10 tips to make your marriage work that doesn't work because what really works are godly principles and those godly principles will be aligned in such a way that you can understand you can relate with and you can imbibe it into your own relationship so nothing gets watered down mm. i mean the last one that we had a very prominent person in society i'm not going to mention his name but he was one of the speakers and he spoke about his days of infidelity and all the kind of things that he used to do and how God helped him to overcome it. I mean, we had a couple that came that day that had that particular issue. They had come in, I mean, it's a black tie event, so they come in all dressed up, but they were not talking to one another. When it was time to rekindle the vows, the men usually go on their knees and, you know, actually propose again to the wives. Mm -hmm. And then later on, look at him, he keeps doing his face <laughs> in a funny way, you know. And the guy refused to go on his knees because... Yeah, that's why I had, because I, a number of men would not want to... But everybody, <laughs> did, everybody did a part from it. Knees. Everybody did. We had people in the 20s up to their 50s, and they mm. did it. Mm. And the women were so excited. Take this picture, because I want to keep <laughs> it forever. <laughs> nice. You know, but after he heard all that and everything, because they had issues of infidelity, at the end of the day, they were all smooching and kissing and everything, because mm. they had talked about issues and stuff like that. So it, is, it gets really, I mean, it's very real. Yeah. Because everybody actually wants to be happy. Mm -hmm regardless of whatever facet of life you find yourself. And so when you just learn that other people have been able to overcome these issues and the ways in which they've been able to overcome it, you know, then you can go back home and actually learn to work you know, at it. Okay, from experience so far organizing programs like this, what do you think is or are the major causes of um, divorce in marriages in this, um, in Nigeria? Well, I've just been married for a little number of years. But How obviously, many? How many eight years. Eight. Ah, eight. Eight. She's like, you're what? You're I'm 18. You're 18. 18. Whoa. So that's why I'm in comparison. And my older sister is like 20, 22, 23 yeah. years. 18 years. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's a fantastic compliment. Lord, I love you already. 18 years. <laughs> no, seriously. No, 18. Yes. 18. Yeah. Eight. One eight. One eight. One eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Eight. One eight and eight. Eight. Okay. Go ahead. So, but I think the main reason is mentorship. Most people have not been mentored before they get married. You know, we'll read the books and happy fairy tales and all that. But the real going into it as a submissiveness, you have to submit to your husband. Then respect. A lot of young ladies now, 
being respectful is just, hey, I have my own money, I'm working, mm. no man can talk to me anyhow, how mm. dare you, and the, you know, all that goes into, no, no, no. <laughs> Humility, too, comes into marriage. You need to be humble mm. and take away all the differences, you know. So a lot of teaching, that's why we have this program, being mentored, teaching goes into it. All right. Um, so there are viewers out there right now, and they're wondering, how they're talking about this program, oh, my God, the giveaway and everything. But... It's paid. It's a paid event, so you don't go there for free of charge. But you're here. How many bots? And you're here. Yeah, lots yeah, of bots. Many. You're here. You're here to make people feel good because couples are going to call you right now. Whoever you are, you're married, you're going to call you, and we're going to task them to give a free giveaway ticket. They'll give you the question. Agreed? A question. Okay. Not a very hard question. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. a very normal question to ask. The normal question that's easy to ask, so maybe a couple or two can just come could see you and could see our two tv so the numbers to call on the show 0091 also 014 quadruple zeros two eight three zero eight one four quadruple zero two eight four call in answer a lucky question is beat the clock on mm. breakfast show and you have an opportunity to go for this event and rekindle your love and propose to your girlfriend oh, sorry your wife and toast your woman again and live happily ever only, after. Is there anything like having happily ever after? There is. There is. There hmm. is. I mean, like the theme um, of the program is love of a lifetime. Hmm. You know, and what we're trying to say is that you can still find yourselves in love with each other 20 years down the line. Hmm. It's not a cliche. It is possible. Hmm. You know, and um, well, like she said, we're five girls in our family. We're sisters. Hmm. And... Um, our older sister, she's been married for 24 years Four now. Years. And I've been married for 18 years. She's been married for eight years. And we found out that because we're in various stages of our marriage, the things that when she talks about, I'm like, oh my gosh, I went through that. And I know, and it's, it's nothing, you know, because everybody would have challenges in marriage. Mm. But we have to learn that um, you can overcome them. I found out that you were asking about divorce. I found mm. out that many people just don't want to go through the challenges. Maybe because in this present day dispensation, we want it just easy. You know, you just want it ha to happen that way. But challenges will come. I was talking somewhere and I said, nobody ever marries a great husband or a great wife. Mm -hmm. Great husbands and great wives are made. Mm -hmm. When you marry that man, he's a man with a lot of challenges. You are also a woman with all sorts. Mm -hmm. But then when you come together, and that's why it's called to become one, mm -hmm. it is in that coming together that is the challenge. And that is why we need to learn at the feet of others who have gone through it and are working at it, mm. you know, so that they can teach you and then you can go back and practice it. Mm -hmm. A good marriage doesn't just happen. It gets better with time. It's like wine. It gets sweeter with time. Mm. I can tell you that my marriage is wonderful today because I have learned over the years how to work at it. Mm. The things that I know now, 18 years down the line, I didn't know when I was first here in marriage. Mm. And so when I see couples that are, Two years in wine and three years in marriage. I want to get out. I want to divorce. I'm like, what? Mm. There is nothing new under the sun. Mm -hmm. So he didn't speak to me well. So he didn't remember your birthday. So that is not enough reason to pack your bags and go. Mm -hmm. And those are the kind of things that we tell people. Do at people this actually forget their wife's birthdays? People do. Over time. <laughs> what do you mean? Over oh, time. How, how can you forget? Over time, it should stay in your memory. I don't get it. Okay, we have a you caller already. Someone is calling already. Hello. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hey, Folusha, good morning. Folusha is calling good from Black Badu. How are you doing? I'm okay, fine. All right, you heard the giveaway tip, right? Yes. Yes! Yeah. So, I hand you over to them. Are you married? Good luck. Folusha, are you am. married? How many years? Uh, my for six months. Six months. Oh, that's so that's cute. cute. Oh, sweet. Oh, so <laughs> are you sure you need to go for this? You don't need this now. <laughs> it's still sweet now. Six months is still. Your husband must be opening the car door for you. Does he do that? <laughs> your your husband still definitely opens the car door for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so I'm not nice. Saying that's anyway. that's okay, nice. so, so Jerry. So, um, when is the date for the two become one? What date is the event? Um. 12, 13, 14. That's on the 13th of December. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Polisha. Polisha has a stance now. <laughs> you still need your husband to open more cards for you, but not to the two become one because it's actually 16th. 
Oh. So Davis started two more or something, eh? Oh. For the show, so sorry. But thanks for calling. Anyway. Thanks for Thank calling, by much. the way. All right. You would have left the suspense I head, now. I want to add something. That when you see a man opening the, the door for his wife, mm -hmm. it's either the car is new or the wife is new. Oh, and that, that, is, that is so <laughs> true. Because your husband still opens doors for you. <laughs> he used to. <laughs> ah, what happened? Does he still open doors for you? He opens other things. <laughs> No, no, I'm going to make it. No, no, no. I love the way you said it. Yeah, it Talking about things. opening other things, we had we were discussing here much earlier, and I said, okay, a number of issues. Uh, let's face it, majority of finance is one of the major issues why we have mm -hmm. divorce, why divorce rate is getting higher. Well, some people say the second highest issue is when it comes to their sex life. And I, I said something, I, I asked, said, okay, is it okay for a couple who have issues or challenges with their sex lives to watch pornography? Okay. Is it okay? If they That's are married as couples. <laughs> so, is it okay? I totally do not agree okay. that couples should watch pornography to help their sex life. Okay. I'm a Christian, and I believe that pornography is a sin. Now, um, pornography doesn't come from a place of love. It doesn't come from a place of education. It comes from a place of depravity. Mm. And when you watch pornography, a lot of people that start watching pornography actually get addicted to it. And they tend to want to practice a lot of foul things. I was, well, we were talking before the program started, and I said, there's a difference between sex and making love. When you're married, you make love. Mm. And that is not sex. So every time that you make love to your husband, you're reenacting that covenant to love one another. Mm. And it's something that has to do with you honoring and respecting your spouse. I tell women, in marriage, if your husband is doing anything in the bedroom that makes you feel less of a woman, that makes you feel like you, you're undervalued or whatever, then it is not right. It has to be something that you both enjoy and you both consent to. Mm -hmm. Now, there's nothing wholesome, there's nothing beautiful about pornography. There are sexual ther there are sex therapists, I'm sorry, that actually would help okay. you in such areas. And like okay. we also said, there are elders and whatever, people who are older who can also help you, you know, with such things. So oh. I totally do not agree with pornography. Wow, well, I wish okay. we could continue, but we'll have to leave that to the late night show. Rated 18. So children, cover your eyes and your ears. <laughs> see, your, see no evil, hear no evil. It's not for you. Anyway. Okay. So um, we, uh, I wish we had so much. We had, there's so much we want to talk about. So much, if there's so many time, so we, on time, one of our shows we're asking, What's the right age for marriage? Is there any right age? Just let me just get a word from you. What's the right age? Men, male, female. Is there any right age? Being mentally, emotionally, spiritually ready. There's mm. no right That's age. That's just it. That's mm -hmm. You agree with that? Maturity is key, and I find out that age is not a determinant of your maturity. Because mm. mm -hmm. there are some people that feel they're old enough, but they're not matured enough mm. to get married. Okay, so if there's a mature two-year-old, she can get married. There's some, there can be a mature two-year-old. <laughs> <two -year -old. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, age has to come in. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 kind of maturity you know, because comes when, you, when, you, when you narrow it down, that's why there's so much pressure on single ladies nowadays to get married. Mm -hmm. Because everybody says, this is the age you ought to. So by the time you're not this age, a lady sends a letter to the office and she was saying she was 25 and she was frustrated because Whoa. she was not married. And I'm like... Ooh, 25 my, my goodness go. you know so because there's this thing about age 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 who says you must be a particular age before you get married no so when we're talking about there is no way a teenager can be mentally like she said emotionally and physically mature it's not possible so you must be an adult mm. but you must at least be mature in all those areas wow okay wow. all right thank you so so much so are we are we, are we, are we, are we have how many do have, is anybody married yet? Okay, what yeah, people we have married, take, we have married couples in the house, like two or three married couples, uh, some very fresh. Oh, about to wed. One is getting I'm married really on to, Saturday, oh same day word. of the oh. event. So what time is it? What time? Three o'clock. So maybe after their reception, they can just. Yes, yeah, yeah, that would be can just come in. That ah, would be so nice. They can just come He's in. He's the oldest now. Wedding dress and. Oh, we so nice. And we have wedding gown. That yes. would be so awesome. We would so actually if give he... her that ticket. That would be yes. so nice. And he's smiling right now. If he congratulations, you got a ticket. The red yes. starts at three. Okay. okay. And then we have like the love lounge where there will be cocktails and everything, and the couples will be serenaded. Right. They get their pictures taken and everything. Right. And then the proper event starts at four. So. 
from the reception, they can yeah. just come. Congratulations, wow. Ify. I'm so and happy. And actually, I mean, they might be the lucky bee because we have a lot of sponsors. Mm. And you want to mention a sponsor? Yes. We have giveaway prizes. Giveaway so, prizes okay. from Prote Hotel Select. Nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They're giving mm. us five, so, five rooms. Five rooms for five. Oh! For a weekend. Yes. Oh, five. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I thought one person was going to get five rooms. No. No. Is one room not enough? Ah, <laughs> All right. We have MTN, we have FCMB, oh, we have okay. Three Crowns, Radio oh. One. And they're all doing chi. They're all doing all right. awesome things, awesome prizes. And Jumia so. is giving out, wow, they could actually win that. Jumia is giving out spa treats for couples. Okay, awesome. yeah, that's it. Yeah, yes, they could win that also. So there are lots of gifts. Yeah. All right. Wow, so the so date, sixteenth of May. The day is Saturday. Saturday. It's, mm, how much is the ticket? You didn't say it. Twenty thousand. Just, just, just twenty only. ticket. Or in your mind. For only. ladies, ladies, you can pay. Your husband is going to kneel down on that day and propose again. <laughs> so for the ladies, you <laughs> can just pay. Just add something. A lot of women are actually paying. Yeah, nice. for their husbands. For their yeah. husbands, a lot awesome. of women awesome. are paying. Awesome. Okay. They say it's a surprise, you know, package for their husbands. All right. Go oh. women. Thank you. Wow, we should continue. <laughs> but for more information, you can go on the website, definitely. Yes. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. Website. And how do people get in, in, touch, in touch with you and all of our okay. social media and the website? www.gemmagazines.com. Twitter is at Gem Magazines. Instagram at Gem Magazines. Bam. It's all right. It all. Thank you so much. It's been the Breakfast on RT TV. Um, we've had so much fun in the house, Wally and Kenya. Thank you very much for coming. It's yeah, been a great show. So we much. will see you tomorrow.